Once Eddie has checked in, he is assessed by a nurse. This is pretty detailed, covering consent, Eddie's rights and responsibilities, details of Eddie's doctor, any other treatment services he might be in contact with, family members, a full history of alcohol and other drug use, any prior withdrawal experience, social circumstances, and factors that indicate the possibility of severe withdrawal. Okay, Eddie, so I'm going to start the nursing assessment with you now. The first okay. thing we do is a consent form. Yep. Okay, so I'll just go through that with you. Um, so a consent for people um, accessing, uh, like you when you're here, like telephoning you and things like that. So you can give us some names of some okay, important cool. people. If they ring, we'll let them know you're here. Yeah. If um, you don't tell us their names, then we won't let them know that you're here. Okay. Okay. All right, so can you tell me... Like just a uh, history of your alcohol use, what you what you used, what yeah. you've been using, how long you've been drinking for, what currently what you're what you what you're drinking, the amount, yeah. and um, yeah, and how long that's been. So happening like for. I mean, I went. I mean, a few months ago, it was it was just binge drinking, um, okay. pretty much every week, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but recently it escalated, um, and Vicky, my wife, has okay. has. Um, kicked me out and uh, my drinking has increased. So when um, you say increase, what, how much are you drinking? So I'm drinking around about 12 cans 12 of cans beer of a day. Full strength, full strength beer? beer a day, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, daily? And how long daily. has it been daily drinking for? At least the last few months. So yeah. the last few months, okay. Have you had any alcohol free days in those last few months? Not that I can remember, no. No, no. okay. So when was that last alcohol free day? Can you remember at all? Uh, it was a few months ago. A few yeah. months ago. Um, do you take any other drugs at all? So anything like um, heroin, codeine, no. um, suboxone, methadone programs, no. anything like that? No, I can't any alcohol. benzodiazepines, no, nothing like that. Marijuana? No. No? no? Okay. No. Anything I haven't mentioned that you have tried? No, I mean, I used to smoke, but I gave that up about Okay, so ago. cigarettes, so ex-smoker, that's yeah. great that you've done that. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. If you didn't, we use a nicotine replacement okay. therapy in here, patches and inhalers, but good job. Cool. That's excellent. Yeah. All right, so when you have had those few alcohol-free days, what kind of symptoms have you experienced? Um, I've gotten headaches and, okay. um, you know, I, I get the sort of the shakes. Yeah, um, do you sweat a mm, lot? Yeah. Have you ever had any hallucinations at all? Um, audio, audio ones I have, So yeah. hearing things yeah. or just sounds just seem too loud for yeah, you? Yeah, that, like that, yeah. Okay, no worries, but no seizures at all? No. Any major accidents? Mm -hmm. um, I've had accidents before, yeah, I've fallen downstairs and that's so, why I've got a bit of a limp. Okay, um, were you intoxicated when you fell yeah, down? So you were? Yeah. Have you ever had any falls when you haven't been intoxicated? Um, not that I can remember, mm -hmm. no. So your balance and everything's generally Yeah, relatively okay, yeah. So generally healthy? Yeah. No major medical issues that you know of? Not that I know of.